I would like to talk, very important topic. <clears throat> if you're a short man, if you have lousy proportions, like me, I'm five, three and a half, I got a 46 inch waist, no neck, and tight, physically tight body, very tight, poor flexibility. I can't begin to tell you how important it is for a man such as this when you're young. Now, I'm an old man, I'm 75, but I can't begin to tell you how important it is to stretch out, to gain as much flexibility, balance, and coordination as possible for you to gain. Don't let this the problem of muscle stiffness, tightness, poor flexibility, poor coordination, poor balance plague you because it grows like a cancer. You can't, you won't be able to shake it as you get older. The muscles become tight. And there goes whatever appeal you might have competitively in the environment, in the social environment. There goes your personality. There goes your appearance because your body can't move fluently can't move comfortably, can't move aesthetically. I found this to be a very major problem. I found this to be a foundation problem, along with driving art and getting in tremendous shape, martial arts, verbal judo, vital, vital to, a, to the short man, to the short small man. And to be short is to be small. And if you're on top of that an ectomorph, it only aggravates the problem because you have no appearance, no personnel, and you, and you don't have a, a, the very vital protective security of a presence that can be respected and is credible on visual. You don't have that going for you. And if in addition to that your body's stiff, inflexible, uncomfortable, you're not aesthetic, in your movements, you have projected head, bad posture, slouching, all these, and you're short on top of that, your big, big belly on top of all of that. You got a Mount Everest to climb just to show your face in public and be anything but a padrone, an object of pity. So you, if, if you don't resolve this problem, then you have to become a better and better adapted padrone, an object of pity. And the only approach possibilities you'll have with any woman is you're going for her compassion, you're going for her pity, you're going for the myth of the... Of, the women being nurturing. You're falling for Elliot Rogers' folly. When Peter Rogers on the Barbara Walters show spoke about his son Elliot, who was an ectomorph, a severe ectomorph. And he said, my son wanted women to come to him because he was a magnificent gentleman, very well dressed, non-threatening, completely non-threatening, couldn't hurt a fly physically compared to the uh, obnoxious brute jock on a skateboard that was muscular and athletic compared to that. And he felt that women should all come to him and be nurturing and be compassionate with him. And Peter Rogers said, in that my son was wrong. He said the women don't come to anybody. Well, in that, Peter Roger is wrong because the women do come to, it's called prerogative, who they want to come to. It's as simple as that. And of course, it's going to be, they're going to be attracted to the more magnetic, dynamic jock who's athletic, he's got the height, he's got the hair, he's got the muscle tone, and he's got the uh, jive. He's got the shag. He's got the shuck. He knows how to... Uh, chat him up and that gives him a right 
There's no judgment bar here, none at all. There's no entitlement, there's no rights, there's no wrong, there's no good, there's no bad. It's just a happening in the arena of confrontation and encounter, period. That's the ultimate judge. That's the judge whose judgment is indubitable, infallible, and indisputable because it happened in the now, because it was final when the woman says no to you, my short friend, no means no. Doesn't require an explanation, doesn't require a justification, no means no. So we move on. That's the key. But no means no, prerogative means prerogative. That's the bottom line. No means no is the upper limit. And the woman can say to you, no verbally, physically, by attitude, and you, the short man, my short small friend, you have to pick up the signals in a timely fashion before you invest more. If you're a codependent personality, if you're an addictive personality, and you have all these, and you're vertically challenged, you have all these other physical limitations, you're in a world of hurt and you don't even know it.